What's up, everybody? Payvix here, reporting live from the park. Yeah, we got it going on, man. Shout out to y'all for tuning in. This is Thoughts with Payvix, episode 40. Episode 40. We made it 40 episodes. Thank you for tuning in. We're coming to you live. This is a special edition. All right, so it's Halloween. Today is Halloween. So peep the outfit. Check the fit. All right. Shout out to y'all. Episode 40. I'm going to be doing a special episode today where we cover my new album that just got released, The Crime of Passion, Volume 1. Um, So tune in. We got a little bit of wind, so that's why I'm recording on this mic. So bear with me. But I'm going to be answering all the questions that you, that you might have about the album because I want y'all to tune in and listen to it, man. Go stream that. The Crime of Passion, Volume 1. It's your boy, Pay Vix, episode 40. Yep. So, song number one, opening statement. That was centered around, because I wanted the theme to be about crime. So, the opening statement, we're in the courtroom. And uh, all of these shots are being fired at me and my opening statement as a lawyer or as a whoever defendant is just basically all of the stuff that makes me me, makes pay vix, pay vix, or you know what I mean? My my attributes, I'm bringing all of these attributes to the game. And um, I just want to hope people can tie in what I was trying to say. Because I'm, I'm, I'm whispering like really powerful words like persistence, discipline, dedication. Like I'm whispering it and just delivering it like that. But these are powerful words and these are the words that make me, me. And, and I kind of just crammed it into one song and I'm, I'm, I'm basically laying out everything. And ultimately my opening statement Because everything reverts back to inspiration and motivation and stuff like that. But ultimately, my opening statement is to keep going. That's what that's what the chorus is. I wanted skits in the chorus and I wanted explosions and like I wanted it to be a big chorus. But it's just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. This is my opening statement. Keep going. Keep going. If you're facing adversity, people coming for you, you know what I mean? They don't got their facts straight. It's confusion, misunderstanding, mis- like stuff like that. Just keep going, man. You know what you're doing. And that's my opening statement. Okay. We're live. We're back. Thoughts with Pay Vix, episode 40. We made it. All right, look, Intel, number two, Intel, all right? Everybody want to be James Bond. Everybody want to be Batman. Everybody. This is a real story, man, all right? When I was younger, we was walking home from school, and I bullshit you not, it was a detective on the side of the road. The chalk was on the ground where somebody passed away. There were shell casings and numbers and stuff. It was a real crime scene. And he pulled us to the side and he was trying to gather information. Um, And, you know, we was young and we was just we didn't really know what to say or, or stuff like that. But. That situation, I ended up seeing multiple times growing up in the hood. But I've always wanted to circle back around to that, to the undercover cops and just the stuff that we have to deal with in the hood. And it's just basically a story um, that includes portrayal. It includes uh, cop work. It includes... Um, a lot of uh, whispering and and like 
things you shouldn't say, things you should should say, and just how um, things can possibly go wrong when um, dealing with crime. And just uh, it's just an idea of, uh, you know what I mean, picking a side and um, being good or bad. But we all should be trained like this. <laughs> so um, I'm sure there's a million stories out there, but this is mine. It's called Intel number two. Wendy. Woo. So. The song Mix and Master, number three on my album, The Crime of Passion. Um, that's actually me touching the input signal on the very first part of the song. The, the, when you first hear the song, when you press play, it goes bzzz, like, like an audio signal. That's my finger touching a 3.5 millimeter jack at the very tip and we sampled that and we put it in the chorus so that's just a fun fact about that song um but what i wanted to do with mix and master and i've always wanted to make a song like this always it's always been in the back of my head but i just never got around to it but what i wanted to do was capture the very moment in the studio when you're cooking up it's you, the producer, the engineer, your homies, everybody. But y'all know when you hear something that works. And that's what the, basically the, the idea of Mix and Master was about because I wanted to capture the moment where you see where the, where the song is building up and you get excited and you like skip a mix and master just it's banging and sound good let's that's it that's how you make the music you know what i mean and um a lot of times i've overthought songs i've over edited songs i've i've you know what i mean you can easily mess up a good thing when you're creating so um the idea behind that was to just get it Right at that sweet spot. And, uh, you know, just, just have fun with it. And, uh, another fun fact about Mix and Master is I was out for dinner and there was a piano somewhere in the place we were eating. And one of my homies jumped on the piano and started playing. He liked to show off a lot. Right, he like show. So he on the piano, just playing around. He getting everybody hyped. In the middle of me doing this very important dinner, I jump up and I'm like, "That sound halfway good." I record it on my phone, and I have a video of it. I have proof that the sample, the piano sample that I'm using in the chorus, is from a video of. My homie actually playing the piano in the middle of a restaurant. So check that out. Check out Mix and Master and check out the album, The Crime of Passion, Volume 1. Pay Vix. Holla at your boy. What's wrong with y'all? All right. Coming back at you. Number four, Get Naked. All right, that's the name of the song, but it's more to it than just get naked because the sample used in that one is from the famous, infamous DJ Assault. And um, major shout out goes to him and his legendary movement of the iconic JIT music. If you are from Detroit, you know exactly what I'm talking about. JIT music. Um, it is what kept the club extremely, extremely, extremely uncontrollably hype back in whatever, early 2000s, stuff like that. St. Andrews Hall, we would go down into the basement, into the shelter and, um, you know, 
it was just a dance. Just, it was just, uh, you got it. You had to see it. It would be a circle of people and somebody would jump in the middle and do these crazy dance moves that just made so much sense to us. And there was a whole mixtape out about them. So I just wanted to pay tribute to DJ Assault and, um, cause that sample is what sets off any party. All of that music when it's hot and you need another drink. What you think? All a brother got to do is go outside. It's, uh, mm, okay. Only my Detroit people going to know that. But that's where that came from. And we got a chance to uh, put something together for y'all. So check that one out. Number four. Um, it's just major, major energy for all my JIT music people, all my Detroiters. Make sure you check that out. Get naked. Number four, the crime of passion. Peace. What up, though? It's your boy, Pay Vix. So, a little bit about love travels. Um, I was actually in the middle of traveling, and I missed my flight. This is a true story. I missed my flight, and I'm sitting at the airport. Just got some food, whatever, chilling. I had a four hour delay. I'm sitting there by myself, all my luggage. And I wasn't really upset because I needed a little minute, but I wanted to kind of, um, well, I was looking around and I saw so many people, different people and their stories. And I'm just looking and I'm just thinking of, you know what I mean? How can I tie all of that into one song? But long story short, that's how Love Travels was created. And of course, it's an inspirational tool. Growing up in the hood in Detroit, we don't get out much. It's the city, it's the inner city, and it's the outskirts of the city. You might cross eight mile once or twice, but that ain't no fun because you're looking over your shoulder. But, um, you know, all we know is the city. So it's an inspirational tool to get out of the city and out of the state and go see something new and meet some new people and see some new stuff. Cause, uh, it's a whole world out there. And, um, you know what I mean? Do your research and, um, you know, go have some fun. So that's what love travels is about. And, um, it's kind of like my favorite song on the album because it's like, you know what I mean? It's, it's that, that's that joint. That's that joint. But, um, holla at your boy. Hey, Vix. Love Travels. Crime of Passion. Volume one. Holla at y'all. Ah. Uh, all right. <laughs> Sniper Ninja Assassin. Number six. So with this one, that's, that's a really cool song because I'm taking on three different characters, right? Sniper Ninja Assassin. So um, when it comes to karate and hip hop, those two have always had a strong connection. You could go back into as much history of hip hop as you want. You're always going to find some elements of karate in a bunch of different artists. Kung Fu Kenny. Wu-Tang Clan, um, everything. There's always hip-hop blending in with, with, with martial arts, and there's always martial arts blending in with hip-hop. So um, I've always wanted to do a song and pay tribute to the martial arts because I grew up in a household where we studied Bruce Lee and we watched The Last Dragon and you know what I mean? We was watching Three Ninjas and Ninja Turtles and Double Dragon and everybody knows this stuff. Everybody in the in the in the community knows these kind of things. So um I wanted to take on that mindset in a style where there's an assassin in the club or the bar or wherever. And he's looking for a female. And 
basically he's using ninja tricks and ninja moves to get her. And I don't know, man. It's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to put into words, but um my real hip hop heads and my real martial arts experts will understand what I'm saying in that song perfectly. And women have so many tricks. They're witches and they put spells on guys and they they get they guys the way that they want to get them, but we fight back with Sniper Ninja Assassin. We get them back on this song. So check it out, man. Peace. <laughs> All right. Number seven on the Crime of Passion is called Not Okay. And I wanted to come from a human standpoint and put that into my music. Like, just being human. It's like... um I want y'all to feel my pain, so I made sure that I felt y'all pain. So I kept it simple, you know what I mean? Just in the midst of all the partying and all the bullshit, like some people are not okay. And it's okay that you're not okay. So um I wanted you to know that. Cause I've been not okay before. And um I wanted to use that song as like, you know what I mean? For strength. Because it's real stories in there. My homie, R.I.P. Um took his own life. And um I got a million different stories. Anybody coming from Detroit, we got so many stories about people that's not okay. So that was just bringing awareness to certain situations and letting you know that I'm not oblivious to uh, certain emotions. So I hope you like it. Number seven, not okay. I let you boy. Pay this. One, 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 percent. What? Reporting live to you from the park, the very windy park. This is very windy. Um. Thoughts with Payvix, episode 40. This is the last song on the album. It's called I Rest My Case, and it's windy. And I wanted to say shout out to John Connor for jumping on this track with me. He's super cool, man. He's super laid back. And I like how he delivered his verse. His work ethic is crazy. Um, But I Rest My Case is in the theme of the crime of passion, just like number one is opening statement and number two is intel. And this one kind of still ties into the crime mindset of I rest my case. So it's basically at the end of my trial, the end of the album, the end of my trial. And I'm like, if you don't basically respect me as an artist by now, then like, I got nothing left, left to say to you. You know what I mean? And it's kind of like, my easy like Sunday morning song, my my old man song, like I'm done talking, like um, but it bang hard though. It bangs really, really hard. And um it's definitely enjoyable. You can uh smoke to it, you can ride to it, you can uh watch the sunset to it, you can drink some tea to it, like um and you can also just get hyped to it at the same time. So it's a lot of fun. Um I rest my case. It's super duper crazy. And uh, I just thank y'all for tuning in, man, for this 40th episode. We celebrating my album. We celebrate making it 40 episodes. And um, I'll see y'all next time, man. Thoughts of Payvix. Holla at your boy. What up, though, everybody? It's your boy Payvix. And I just wanted to personally say thank you for listening to my new album, The Crime and Passion, Volume 1. Um, I've been working really hard, man. And um, this album is kind of like my moment to prove, not to you guys, but to myself, how hard I've been working. Because 
that's kind of why I named it the crime of passion is because I've been through so much with music. You know what I mean? Like I've lost friendships. I've lost family. I've lost, you know what I mean? Money because I do music. So, um, but I still keep going back to it. Even through all of the negative, I still find ways to make the most out of it. And it's like, I've been condemned by other people or like, uh, like put in jail. You know what I mean? Like I committed a crime for being so passionate about my work. And, um, it was just the perfect title, the perfect name. Um, I wanted things to be a little more centered around like, uh, the legal system, you know what I mean? Because I've been through so much just coming up in Detroit and just uh, the lifestyle that I live. Um, but it kind of reflects in the music, you know what I mean? So uh, it's just, you got to listen, man. I appreciate y'all and uh, make sure you tune in. Holla at your boy. When it comes to karate and hip hop and rap music, we've always embodied. Stop. What the fuck? Test run. Check one, two. Reporting live. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Payvix. Thoughts with Payvix, episode 40. We are live, reporting to you live from the park. We're doing this. Um, this is a special episode, okay? This is special. This is a, um, the 40th episode, like I already said, okay? And 